mother loves music, classical music, and exposed me to a lot of it when I was younger. And when I was about seven, asked me which instrument I would want to play, and I chose the cello. And I, I loved it instantly. So I've had um, private lessons, I've participated in music camps in the summers, I've always been in orchestras. We moved around a lot when I was a child. So music became a very important element of my connection to my peers and the community. It was always a way that I was able to become a part of the place where I was. Um, and then after college, went to Bolivia and used my music in a very different way and was teaching cello lessons in this network of youth orchestras in eastern Bolivia, which was a really powerful experience for me, a wonderful one. And for them, music was a lifeline. And these children would sleep with their instruments in their homes. And that really transformed the role of music in my life. And it ultimately led me uh, to meet my husband. He's a violinist from Spain and had decided to go to Bolivia and do the same thing. And we arrived within a few days of each other and spent the year teaching together. And, and that was the beginning of our family. Music is just, I think, one of the most vital languages you can speak. Um, it connects you to others in an essential way. It's a really powerful means of self-expression. And that's what we're trying to teach our children as well, is that life is about connecting with others and music is a beautiful way of doing that and so we play a lot at home we play there's a lot of spontaneous music um, spontaneous concerts that happen here at home and um, you know it's, it's something that we want to nurture here in our home so you know my, my middle son decided he wanted to play the trumpet and so Bernardo a violinist picked up the trumpet so he can play along with him That's sort of the family we are So since July of 2017, I took on the role of Director of Global Health at EVMS, which allows me to help develop um, global health programs both here locally in Hampton Roads, but also um, in the international community. So that includes our work through Medical Spanish, Refugee Health, we're developing a Medical French program, um, and then to help develop the global health sites that we have in the Dominican Republic, in Kenya, in Belize, a number of other places, um, and that is really my dream job. You know, at this point, I just want to continue, um, continue having music in our home, playing as I can with our children, with my husband, um, and look forward to a time when I'll be able to dedicate myself to it a little bit more. And I would love to go back to Bolivia, take my children there, and reconnect with the musical community there with our old students. But that's the wonderful thing about music, is it's a part of me, and I will always be able to speak that language and to pick that instrument up again. I feel very fortunate to be able to pursue the things I'm so passionate about in a global setting and, and the people with whom I've had the opportunity to work and interact and you know, it's been such a gift. <laughs>